Welcome back. The Pittsburgh Steelers of next season are hoping to look just like the Pittsburgh Steelers of last season. The team says they want to extend both Ben Roethlisberger and Le'Veon Bell's contracts this offseason. Big Ben is 35, and 35 is the new 25 in the NFL. File that under, apparently. Guys, should the Steelers give these two long-term deals, in your opinion? Well, I don't know about both of them. There's only one of them contract who's expiring. That's Le'Veon Bell. Like, he has deserved a new contract. Um, ben, um, I'm, not, I'm not puzzled, but it's kind of, um, it just draws my attention. Uh, last offseason, after the season, he said he didn't know how much longer he wanted to play. Now, we know that him and Todd Haley didn't get along. They got rid of Todd Haley's offensive coordinator. Now he's telling the organization, you know something? Man, I'm... I'm because the only way you bring up an extension is if you're saying, man, I'm feeling good, my body's feeling good, I believe I'm going to be able to play for several more years. It's a lot different than he sounded after last offseason. So for me, it's a, the team is trying to concentrate and has been negotiated with L. Bell publicly, even though the team only wants to do it privately. And now Ben, how he would throw his hand into the ring and be like, yeah, I would love a contract. Because I know the Steelers didn't say you know something? We would love to sign Ben Roethlisberger. It's kind of like Ben offered this information uh, compared to the Steelers. Why would they? Big Ben doesn't have one year left on his deal. He has two <laughs> years left on his deal. Like, and he is, I, I understand that we have seen Drew Brees play at a very high level at 38, 39. Tom Brady made me look like a fool, played at an MVP level at age 40. I the think it is fair to say those guys treat their bodies on and off the field a little better than Ben Roethlisberger has treated his on and off the field over the course of his career. And you do have to take that in consideration. We just can't think that every guy is going to play, because he's a quarterback, into his 40s and everything. Ben Roethlisberger, like, we know that he has more of, I will call it a social nightlife than those other guys. We also know from looking at him, he now sometimes the extra... The extra pounds maybe serve as something of body armor for him because of the style in which he plays. But you don't need the body armor in your cheeks. And the, he is not in the greatest shape. So the idea that he is going to have one of these unprecedented or nearly unprecedented careers, I don't see the evidence of that. And we have also seen Ben, I, I think, I don't know if you want to reward some of his commentary with, a premature contract. Now you might say, why would you reward some of the things Le'Veon Levy has done? Well, he doesn't have a contract. Like, he, he, you're either yeah. going to franchise him again, he's going to be upset, it's going to be a very high number. And or you could lose him. Right. Agree to a long-term deal, or he goes somewhere else. Big Ben's got nowhere else to go the yes. next two years. And by the way, not that they would do this to a guy that's won two Super Bowls for him, they could have Ben Roethlisberger the rest of his career without ever getting him another deal. Like, he's got two years left on his deal. Right. He's never been franchised. Franchise him the first time. That's three years. You didn't even franchise him a second time. Like, so I just don't see the any leverage point Big Ben would what have. What I might understand is a veteran quarterback like him coming to them and saying, I can give you a more friendly deal, give you a softer cap number, give you something else that they might extend him out maybe at the same number not give him a bump up in pay. So if they went to him and said, you know something, Ben, we want to tear up your deal and give you a four-year deal to give the team more right. cap space in 18, 19, 19, and 20, that's the only way I see a deal with Ben What kind of numbers or years are we looking at here? I mean, he's got two years left. Is, as, as, have you seen him on the decline in the last couple of years, or do you feel like he could give you two more years of what he's given you the last two years? Ben Roethlisberger probably played the best year of his career in 2014. 15, 16, 17 were down from there, but they were at the exact same level. Like 15, 16, and I didn't see any decline this year from last year mm -hmm. or last year from the year before. I saw a decline in all three from that one year. But he's been around the same type of guy. So, no, I'm not worried that Ben next year is not going to be good. I just don't. Am I worried that if Ben in three three years going to be good? Am I worried how Ben's going to get along with the new offensive coordinator? Am I worried if Ben after next offseason is going to go back to, I don't know how much longer I want to play. Like, all of those things would concern me. I Go ahead, CeCe. My biggest concern is when they start talking about it, they start thinking about it. And when you start thinking about retirement, it ain't long before you start following that. Now, the guys that we have seen play 
an elite level, even later in their career, they never talked about it. They always talked about even beyond what their career would be. And even before the quarterbacks we have now with Drew Brees and Tom Brady. I'm talking about Warren Moon. I'm talking about yeah. even Peyton Manning. Um, Peyton Manning. Uh, Brett Favre. Like, these guys, man, they, they weren't going to quit. Brett couldn't make up his mind. But he didn't say he was going to quit. Similar to what you mean, what Roethlisberger said in week five when he was like, I don't have much I've left in me. And well, even last season, I was more concerned about the end of last season. He said, I don't know how much I can play. Brett's an outlier he, for a lot of reasons, not the least of which are. He's a freak of nature. And I think Brett always knew he was going to play. I think Brett did. Brett could have played last Sunday uh, if he wanted to, uh, if they gave him the opportunity. He would have run out there. He would have run think, right out there. I don't think Brett minded. The ESPN setting up camp in front of Ed his house. Ed Ed Word are going down there. Oh, we're sending a chopper to get Brett. Like, Brett, and I don't blame him for that. I don't think he minded that. I, one question about El Bell before we move on. What would concern you more about giving Le'Veon a contract extension? The fact that last year he had over 400 touches or the fact that he's one failed drug test away from a year out of football? Which of those two things, because they're both flags, which of those two flags are the one that you think would make you more hesitant to commit to him long term? I mean, I'm not worried about the 400 carries because if you're a featured back, that's what you're going to get put on you. Like, that's what he should, that's how many carries, that's how many carries they need to put on him for them to be able to win. Um, I know the drug program that you can come out of the program, so there are, is relief. If he stays in it and stays clean, then you can be relieved of the testing, and they take the testing back some. So there is some reward for staying clean. So I'm not concerned about the 400 carries. I'm probably a little more concerned about him and what he's done off the field, jeopardizing his career. So, yes, that's a real thing, not because I made it up, but because what he's been involved in. And I, I said 400 carries. I, 320 carries, 85 catches. So 400 touches, touches on the year. Quickly, of the two, who's going to get the long-term deal? Man, I think Bell's a, he, they have to sign him. Okay. They don't have to do anything with, with, ben. with ben. I wouldn't be shocked if neither one, that if they oh, leave thanks. Ben as is and that they franchise El Bell one more time. I wouldn't be shocked by that. All right, coming up, can anyone make a move to beat the Warriors next on First Things First? The Cavs made their move last. Uh, you know what? Never.